Hi there, this is Lisa from Canine Clips, and this is Ginger, and Ginger is a Cavalier King Charles, and today we're going to be doing a number seven cut on her on the body, and we're going to give her a nice short summer cut, and so I'm just going to get started on that, and get her all cleaned up for summer here. So I always start with the feet, and then they go from there. When I do trim the face and everything with the, for her, I'll actually be using clippers because the owner likes to keep it nice and short as well. And she is a dog that likes to lay down a little bit more for me. So I just kind of work around her. If you're interested in seeing more dogs being groomed or just some tips on how to groom dogs in certain um, areas or certain breeds of dogs I do have lots of videos of those as well on my channel I'd like you to please subscribe to see more I do post regularly um, daily actually so if you're interested in seeing videos for more about dog grooming this is the channel to be also, if you have anything specific you'd like to see, you can comment um, in any of the videos. And then when it does come available that I'm able to post it, I will do that for you as well. There we go. I'm just going to... These ones, we're going to keep her ears a little bit longer. So I basically just trim them. Her owner likes to grow them out. And gives a nice fluffy look. Ginger is my only Cavalier King Charles that I groom currently. I've had a few come through, but she's the one that's still around today. She's been coming for quite some time now and comes quite regularly, as you can see by her nice fur. One nail that bled here, so I'm just going to put some stick powder on it. As you can see, when the nail does bleed, it's not that it's it hurts that much, and the blood comes out. But that's just the the quick that grows, and when you keep your dog's nails uh, trimmed up regularly. The quick will recede, and then as the nails grow, they grow faster than the quick, so then you're able to get them to a nice, healthy length. And gingers are at a nice length, and sometimes they just bleed. Like, they're just, some dogs' no, nails are just prone to bleeding, but it doesn't mean that it actually hurts them. As you can see, she did not even flinch when I cut her nails. We'll get another good view of this foot being cut and if you are using scissors you always got to be careful even on yourself 
where the end of those scissors are because I have cut my fingers a few times because you're focused on the dog's pad and not trimming any of their pads or anything so you're keeping an eye on that but then you kind of forget where it is on yourself and give yourself a little snip sometimes and the styptic powder does work on you as well I've had to use it a few times The hardest part of this YouTube channel is talking during the grooming because I'm used to just quiet and pretty calm. You talk to the dogs a little bit, but more so they're just relaxed. And I like the silence sometimes, so I'm not a big fan of listening to myself talk. But I like how excited the owners are when I tell them that I have a YouTube channel and they're excited to see how their dogs do. So it's all worth it. And as you can see, Ginger is quite relaxed. We'll see if she stands for me after. After the bath, okay, one last foot here. Oh, yeah, she just doesn't prefer to stand, but she will. She's just a little nervous. After this process, I will um, comb out her tail and trim it up and comb out her ears as well um, before the bath. And then I give her a nice bath and blow dry her and then I will cut the body because I like the, the fur on the body to be nice and clean because it's nicer and better for the clippers. Keep them staying sharp and then I'll give her another blow dryer once I've done the first first clipping I'm um, kind of to poof it all up again and then I'll actually give her another clipping to even out anything that may have gotten missed the tail's a little bit thick here Make sure I get all those out before the bath as it's a little easier to do when it's dry rather than when it's wet. I'll back that up. Okay, and just give her a tail a little trim. But again, I don't want to take too much off as we're keeping her ears longer as well. So, okay, now we're going to get her into the tub, 
So we'll just get her here. And in my tub, I do have a raised tub uh, with a nice flexible hose on my shower head. And I have the temperature on the uh, shower set so that I can just turn the temperature all the way up. And I don't have to worry about readjusting the temperature for the dogs. And that helps my process. I'm not going back and forth. And of course, I have a stink sink stopper in there to catch all the hair that comes out. So I'm not plugging my drains. And then I use a, a very concentrated shampoo that I do mix and dilute with water. And I have actually just put them into uh, old mustard bottles. And I use a ketchup lid on it so that when I turn it upside down, I don't have to worry about uh, it spilling out on me unless I squeeze it there. And I make sure I get a nice good lather here. Rinse out. You want to make sure you get all that soap out, otherwise the dog will be itchy. And also you want to make sure you're not getting any water in the ears. I kind of go from the top of the head and just let it run down the ears, but making sure you're not shooting any water in there, because that can cause an ear infection. best I can. All right, now we'll just dry her off. Okay, now I'm going to blow dry her.
Okay. And as I can see, blow drying her there. I didn't uh, comb out her ears before. So you can see there's a little bit of matting in there. So we'll just try to take it out. We are going to keep the ears longer anyways. So we're just going to be combing these out. And then leaving them poof up. You can see also she doesn't like her ears being blow dried. So in that case, I don't. Uh, I'll try again in the second round, but I'm not one to. If the dog doesn't like it, I won't kind of press it too much because they're already stressed from being at the groomer in the first place. So if I don't have to do anything to you know, make that stress any bigger, I try not to. And in here, because the hair is quite a bit thicker, I will shave that. That's common in the Cavaliers, King Cavaliers, but it's also common in Cocker Spaniels as well, so I do shave that. Just helps to make the ear a little bit lighter for them. Okay, so we got that ear done. Oh, come here. Let's do this ear. See, there's a big mat there. I think I'm just going to use the thinning shears on that one. And I won't have to tug as much. I do like to use a metal comb when I'm doing this. I find the, the brushes that have the small bristles don't get down deep enough to the ears to actually get this out. Okay. There we go. So that takes out the bulk of it. I'm going to trim them after I do another blow dry on them. So right now I'm just going to go straight to the clippers. And as I said before, we're going to do a number seven on her. That's going to include the head and the face. So I'm just going to get started on that. That would be better. Do that again here. All right. You said always be careful not to catch by the ear there. And under the chin there, there's always that loose fur as well. So just be careful to make sure you flatten it out a little bit. And then behind the ear, make sure you flatten out the ear. Get a nice clean cut there. So during this cut, I'm just trying to get the bulk of it off because it is still quite damp as well. This helps keep the clippers quite a bit cooler during this process, but you also want to 
check them frequently. Make sure they're not getting too hot for you. Yeah. But it is, uh, when the dog's a bit damper, it does keep them quite a bit cooler. But then sometimes you may need to add a little bit more oil as well, because then it doesn't lubricate them as much. So when I go up the in the leg, I'm going to go upwards, and that makes it just a little bit shorter. So when it grows out, they kind of even out a bit. But the inside of the leg is where, of course, all that stuff can stick to. So I'll use the number 7, but then I'll go in there with the number 10, just because, again, there's lots of skin flaps and stuff, so I don't want it to catch on anything. switch to number 10 just because it is the fur or skin's kind of flapped in there so I want to make sure they're not catching and they go quite deep just get that out and that's another area that is prone to fly getting matted I'm going to switch my number seven to a new blade just to make sure it stays nice and cool. Yeah. I'm going to add some oil. And that's just the oil I use. Usually, when I put the oil on, I just kind of let it run for a little bit. And hopefully, that'll be good. Yeah. Up their body now.
All right, now I'm going to switch to number 10 just to get in those tighter areas. I don't want to catch any skin by accident. Just comb, taking out the fur out of the blades. See in our armpits, they go quite deep. So I'm just getting right in there with the pen. And that area is a little bit more prone to matting as well. So back to where her belly is and then we'll just do her bum area here Always, of course, when you're in that area, you're making sure that the blades are nice and cool. And we're just going to do her belly in the number 10. Okay, and there we go. Now I'm going to give her another blow dry. To get all this loose fur off. And then I'll be able to do one more clip on her and that'll just clean up anything that I may have missed. And it gives it a nice clean look. I'm going to try to blow dry the ears a little bit better if I can, if she'll let me. But I'll just kind of let her direct if I am or not. Okay, so it's going to get a little noisy again. She's not a big fan of me blow drying her ears, so I won't worry about that. As long as I get the bulk of it off. Okay, so I'm going to start again with the number seven clippers. I'm just going to redo the whole body, and that'll give it a nice finished look. And that just catches anything I miss. It doesn't take off a lot. 
but it does take off some everywhere. And that just gives it that nice, clean, finished look. And our fur at this point is still a little bit damp. This is really thick fur. After I've done the body here, I'll come back and shave the inside of the ears to help lighten those up. And by lightening them up, that helps prevent uh, ear infection because I do have quite heavy ears and then just shaving that little bit off gives the dog just a little bit more retrieve when they're shaking their head to get a little bit of airflow in there. Okay, so from that, so you can see it's not very much. It's a thin little layer, but it still does get a little bit off everywhere. Okay, so I'll get the number 10. So when you're shaving the inside of the ear, you're making sure you always go from the um, ear canal outwards. Don't go inwards because there are little flaps of skin in here as well. And you don't want to catch those with the clippers. So I just go outwards with it. And just, just to the edge of the ear. So I, of course, want to keep the length still. And at the bottom, I can go downwards. And there we go. And these guys don't have very much hair in the ear canal, but they do have a little bit to pluck out. Usually I trim it before the bath, but for some reason I decided to leave it, I guess, today. So we're just going to do that now. And just making sure you're trimming just inside the canal. Because uh, outside this fur is a little bit thicker and it will um, pull a little bit more to hurt, hurt the little babies. So. But her ears are nice and healthy. As well. So you can see, oop, I just want to trim just outside the ear canal so I'm not making sure I don't pluck any of that. But there we go, I think I got it all. Okay, so like I said, there's not very much. Do this other side here. 
a little bit more in this one but again I want to make sure I'm only getting the stuff in the ear canal it doesn't hurt the dogs but it is you know a little bit uncomfortable for them Like I said, her ears are nice and healthy. So there we go. Okay, so and I always make sure after a bath I put an ear solution in. So I put it, and this helps dry it out. So if there's any moisture in there, you want to make sure you get all that out of there. No, oh, it's closed. There you go, and you can put a fair amount in there because they'll shake out any excess, and that'll kind of just dry on in there. There we go. So I just got to trim around her face a little bit. Let's see if anything is just around the eyes. I want to take that out. But let me. Around there. So basically, I'm just going around to see if I need to blend anything that the clippers didn't get for me. And of course, I didn't want to go too close with the clippers in here. And I do leave her whiskers. I'll trim them a little bit, but because the body has a little bit of fuzz on it, we'll leave the whiskers as well. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. So I'm just trimming around her eyes here. Just to layer it down because the clippers didn't get in there. Okay, so I'm going to try combing out her ears once again. Make sure I got all those mats out, hopefully. I always can't get them all. Especially since she won't let me blow dry it. But I think for the most part they are out. Let's see if this takes out any more. I'm just going to trim just any tips if they're kind of sticking out a little bit further. So that we can keep those ears, but also, of course, make them look good. Sometimes when you take out a mat, they have little extra fuzz that sticks out from them. So just kind of layer, even that out with the rest. Which takes it all out there, I think. Okay, so that took a little bit out as well. And the last thing I like to do is just uh, give their teeth a little brush. And uh, I just use a dog toothpaste and a kid's toothbrush. I'll just do that here. He's got some nice pearly whites in there. Make sure I get the gums nice. <laughs> Keep them moving for you. Sorry, it's hard 
have to do the teeth brushing and move the camera at the same time. Just making sure I'm getting contact with the front and the sides when I do it. All right, baby. Okay, so let's that off. Okay, so I'm just gonna check it over. Let's see if I missed anything. But there you go. That is a grooming of a King Cavalier Charles. Um, a number seven blade with uh, scissor cut ears to keep them a little bit longer. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you have any questions or comments, please do so in the video and I'll, I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, if you like this video and like to see more, please subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch. And I hope you have a great day. So thanks again and I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.